and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to make a video in response to a comment that I got on my video. I did a video called a Muslim revert review, which was there was a girl who a British girl who converted to Islam, which they call reverting. So I just watched her testimony and shared some of my thoughts and feedback on it. And there was, I assume, a Muslim individual who um, was a little bit offended by what I said and decided to uh, attack and say that Christianity is a dying religion, so everyone should convert to Islam. And I thought that was very interesting and I wanted to address that. So I'm going to make a video all about that and the numbers and the statistics because the numbers don't lie and I think it's important for us to all look at. So to start out, according to the Oxford Handbook of Religious Conversion, approximately 11.7 million people do leave Christianity annually. For this video, I am going to be referring to uh, a variety of well-accepted sources. I did not go looking for sources that would just back up what I would hope to find. I really just looked at what the numbers are out there and that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. So in complete transparency and honesty, 11.7 million people do leave Christianity annually. So does this mean that Christianity is actually a dying religion? And I would say no, and I will explain why. Based on this statistic alone, we do know that some people leave Christianity, but by and large, these people leave Christianity probably because of bad experiences within the church, which I will absolutely say there are churches out there that are not great, that are not healthy, that people do not live biblically and do not always treat people the way that Jesus said to treat people, to treat even other Christians. And that's, that's not good. It's definitely something I want to see change. It's something that I hope that I can help change um, just in my little corner of the world in the church that I participate in. I hope that I can treat people with the love and respect that God calls us to treat all people with. So I think that that is a reason for the numbers of people who do leave Christianity. But if we keep looking at the numbers, according to the World Christian Encyclopedia, Christianity ranks first in net gains through religious conversion. So what that means is that compared to the number of people who convert to Christianity minus the number of people who leave, Christianity gains far more than they lose every year. So Christianity is continuing to grow every year through religious conversion. And according to the Oxford Handbook, 15.5 million people convert to Christianity annually. So 11 million-ish are leaving every year and 15 million are converting every year. So that is a net gain of at least 4 million every year. I know this statistic is probably going to frustrate a lot of my Muslim followers, but I, I'm, I'm just following the numbers. I'm not making these up. I am not cherry picking these for my own convenience. These, this is what the numbers say. More people have converted from Islam to Christianity in the 21st century than at any other time in history. So in the 21st century, which is just from 2000 onward, because prior to that it was the 20th century, there have been massive numbers of Muslims converting to Christianity. So that means that today there are millions of Christians who are from a Muslim background. And I know it's really popular today for Muslims to comment on people talking about Christianity versus Islam and say, well, all of the people who say they're ex-Muslim and that they converted to Christianity from Islam, well, they're just fake converts. They're just paid by somebody to say that, that they were Muslim in the past, but they weren't really. Number one, I don't know why they say that. It's super bizarre in my opinion, but if there are millions of Christians today who are from a Muslim background, and this is what like non-Christians are doing these research studies most of the time, like this is not just Christians going, oh, hey, we're gonna make our own research study and make up whatever we want. Like these are respected, impartial researchers who are finding these numbers. So if they are finding millions of Christians from a Muslim background, how in the world would it be possible for these people to be paid Christians, paid to be ex-Muslims, 
turn Christians. I mean, I know the church that I go to. I know the churches that are in my community. Like, where in the world would we get the money to pay all these people to fake it that they have converted to Christianity when they really haven't? Like, my church doesn't have that kind of money. I don't know any church that has that kind of money to pay millions of people to pretend that they've converted to Christianity. I don't know why people make that argument. To me, it sounds utterly ridiculous. Of the testimonies of people who've converted from Islam to Christianity that I have heard, there's too many details. There's too much that they know. There's too much that they share that you can't just fake that. Like, I mean, people who have the Quran memorized, who are quoting it like this, and you're telling me that they were paid to memorize the Quran and pretend that they were a Muslim, and but they've always really been a Christian. I don't know. It just, that's too much work. <laughs> I don't know why people would do that. Even though it is illegal and dangerous in many countries for people to convert from Islam to Christianity, it's happening in huge numbers from a variety of Middle Eastern countries. Like for example, in Iran right now, Christianity is the fastest growing religion at 5.2% per year. That means that thousands of people are converting every year in Iran where it you will be thrown in prison if you're a Christian, if you convert to Christianity. But they're doing it anyways. And in countries like Iran, Iraq, Jordan, Egypt, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, and Syria, they are all seeing growth of Christianity in those countries. And why would that be? Sorry, my church doesn't pay people in those countries to become Christian. Like there's there's no point in that. Like why would they risk becoming a Christian if they knew it was fake, if they knew it was false? They can they can die. They can lose their family. They can be shamed by their whole culture for converting to Christianity. Like that's pretty that's a pretty strong reason not to convert unless you absolutely believe that it is the truth. You have been convinced, you have seen proof that proves Christianity to you over Islam. There's no reason to risk death, alienation from your family, and community shame. There's no point unless you believe it's the truth. Is Christianity a dying religion? Nope, it's definitely not. Sorry. Even though Islam is technically the fastest growing religion in the world. This is due to birth rate, number one. And the researchers have projected that by the year 2050, even though Islam is the fastest growing religion, Christianity will still be the majority religion of the world. There will still be like 30 something percent of the world that will be Christian as opposed to Islam. And I'm not saying this to be adversarial or to put down Muslims. I wanted to address the specific comment that I had from that viewer who said Christianity was dying, which it is definitely not looking at all of the numbers which as a christian to me is very exciting god is working in some powerful ways around the world and in some countries that really do not encourage conversion so if you found this video interesting please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos and please give it a thumbs up if you found these findings interesting and thank you so much for watching and until next time bye